Hey Flower Tribe, it's Kelly Lehman from Cranberry Fields and Lucy Lehman and today we're here to show you how to plant your tulip bulbs. If we haven't met yet, it's nice to meet you. My name is Kelly Lehman. I'm the owner of Cranberry Fields Flower Farm here in Cranberry, New Jersey and I love giving you guys fun free flower tips. So please feel free to subscribe to this channel and hit the bell notification so you know whenever I post another fun free flower tip video. So let's dive right in. So guys, Fall is the best time to put your tulip bulbs in the ground. And here's what you're going to do. You're going to go out to a beautiful sunny spot in your garden because tulips love full sun. So you're going to find a spot that gets between six and eight hours of sunlight each day. And you're going to dig a hole that's two to three times the size of your tulip bulb. And guys, the important thing about tulip bulbs is you want to plant it pointy side up and root side down. So sometimes you can see the roots of bulbs, sometimes you can't. These are kind of like the roots are going to start sprouting from here, but some of them you'll see they're a little more prominent. This guy, you don't see the roots too well, but it's pretty obvious that this is the pointy side. So pointy side up, it almost looks like a little candy kiss. So chubby side down, pointy side up, and you want to bury them two to three times the size of the bulb in the ground. So I dug up my soil really, really well. And guys, you can just pop your, your tulip bulbs right in the soil. If you have decent soil and, and things grow really well there, you can just put them right into the soil. But some people like to add a little bit of compost to their soil. So they'll add a little bit of compost and they'll mix it right in here. And some people like to add a little bit of bulb tone to their tulips. So get a little bit of bulb tone and they'll sprinkle it in right in. And once again, we're kind of going to just chop this whole thing up here. And guys, bone meal is also good to plant with your, with your bulbs. Now, bulb tone contains bone meal in it already. So don't add bone meal and bulb tone because you don't want to over fertilize your bulbs. So, you can... so guys, if you have good soil, you may not need that extra compost and those extra steps of the bulb tone or the bone meal. So maybe do a little trial and error. Maybe do a few tulips that have uh, the extra nutrients and maybe do some that are just planted in the soil and see which ones come up better or maybe they'll come up the same and then you can save yourself a step the following year. So once you have your soil all prepared, you're going to plant them in the ground. Once again, pointy side up. That's super important. And guys, if you blow this step, don't worry. Because, you know, listen, tulips are pretty forgiving. They want to grow. If you forget to, to plant them pointy side up and you plant them pointy side down, what's probably going to happen is they're still going to come up, but it's going to take extra energy for this plant to have to have the stem come out and find its way to the top. So you're probably gonna have shorter stems on your tulips and they may not be quite as healthy, but like I said, don't panic. If you put like a, a ton in the ground and you said, oh, I planted them upside down, they're probably gonna come up anyway. But give them a good head start. Plant them pointy side up, two to three times the size depth in the ground. And I'm gonna plant these guys about four inches apart from each other. And I like to plant my tulips in masses. I don't like to just do one or two tulips because that's kind of sad. Tulips look great in big giant formations. So the, the larger the size of the bed you can put them in, uh, the better. But I also like to do groupings that are kind of like odd numbers. So I'll either do like seven or 15 or 25. So depending on the size you have in your garden, get as many of them in as you can. And then simply cover them up. And you could do a little bit of a light mulching if you like. So it's best not to over mulch, guys. If you're gonna do any kind of mulching at all, give it like a light layer. And to get your bulb started, make sure that you apply water. So if Mother Nature's not gonna give you like a good soaking, like the first day or two that you plant them, you can provide your own water because they need that to kind of get started with the growing process. And guys, you wanna get these in the ground about six weeks before uh, the ground freezes. Now, the ground freezing is very different than just a light frost. So don't you know panic and be like, oh my God, we already had a frost and my bulbs aren't in the ground yet. Because a lot of times what will happen is uh, in fall, we'll get a few nights where we'll have a frost, but then the next day temperatures will warm up to like 50 degrees. And that means that the ground is still not frozen. So it takes a few nights, a few days of the ground being at like 32 degrees, you know, that freezing temperature to really start, you know, getting that hard frozen ground there. So give your bulbs uh, at least six weeks to kind of get established and you're going to start putting them in the ground when uh, temperatures, nighttime temperatures are about 40 to 50 degrees because bulbs need cold ground to get started in. If you put them in too early, what's going to happen is they're going to start to want to bloom in fall. So if you have some of those crazy fall days where it's like 80 degrees outside, like you know in October, 
what's going to start to happen if they're in the ground too soon and the ground's too warm is they're going to start to want to sprout and it's going to kind of throw their growing cycle off. So wait till temps cool off before you put them in, uh, but don't wait too long. And you can check like online, you can check, you can kind of Google when the best time of year is for your state because the planting time for New York and New Jersey is going to be very different than the planting time in say like South Carolina because they, the people in South Carolina, you guys might be able to wait until like December to put them in the ground. Where I know in New Jersey, I like to have everything in the ground and tucked in uh, by like the end of October, you know, starting the end of September, October, and depending on the year. So that's the, that's the temperature secret. So guys, thanks for joining us in this video. And I want you to know I made a playlist of fall planting tips for you. So I have planting tips on peony tubers, planting tips on allium bulbs, and planting tips on double daffodils. And you can check that out in descriptions below. And I also know that we sell our burlap wrapped flower bouquets nationwide. And we do this year round. So if you'd like to send a loved one uh, some burlap wrapped flowers, you can check out the link below to Cranberry Fields. And uh, let me know where you guys are watching this from in this big, beautiful world. I love to see how our flower tribe is growing around the globe each week. And let me know in comments below. And I will see you guys in the next video.